Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade Bakari. This is where I discuss all things instructional design, e-learning development, and online course creation, revealing secrets, tips, and insights to help you become a better corporate instructional designer and online course creator. Today's video is all about e-learning development, and today I'll be showing you how you can create a scrolling panel in Storyline 360. So grab a seat, and let's get ready to dive right in. A scrolling panel is another commonly used interactive object due to its ability to effectively address a common issue in e-learning, and that is the management of extensive amount of text, images, graphics, or content that exceeds the slide's capacity. So let's take a look at how they work in Storyline. As you can see on the slide, I have some content here. I have some text, I have an image, and I have a shape. But if I scroll down, you can see how the content basically falls off of the slide. And if I preview this, this is what the learner would see. They would see some of the content and then parts of the content they will not be able to see. So a great way to address this issue is to use a scrolling panel. And that's, that's what we're going to do now. To insert a scrolling panel onto your slide, you simply want to navigate to the Insert tab, and then right in the Interactive Objects section, you have Scrolling Panel. Select the Scrolling Panel, and simply click on your slide to add the Scrolling Panel. And you can see now you have a Scrolling Panel added to your slide. With this scrolling panel added to your slide, it's easy to uh, change the scale of it, and you can also change the position as well. And once you've added your scrolling panel, adding your content into your scrolling panel is just as easy as dragging each content onto the uh, scrolling panel. So. Simply, I'm just going to grab the text one first. And as you can see, as I am, as I begin to move my text into the scrolling panel region, you see how it kind of clips into it, right? So if I let go, you see now I have my text embedded inside of the scrolling panel. And that's really what the learner would see. Um, so text has been added. I've got two more um, objects that I need to add. So I'm going to grab my image as well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert it into the scrolling panel like so. I'm going to drag down a little bit and I can m adjust it and move it a little bit if you need to change the position. And finally, I'm going to grab the shape and I'll just move the shape right there let's adjust the image a little bit all right and maybe we can even move our shape a little bit more okay and it's always a great idea to do any formatting to your text um, outside of the scrolling panel before you bring it into the scrolling panel um, it just makes it much easier for you to work with. Um, so let's go ahead and maybe increase the scale a little bit more. And looks like we were able to fit everything in there. So now when your learner views this course or this slide, this is how it looks. Basically, you see how they can read the text. They have the scrolling panel and they can really just scroll through and see all of the content that you want that you want them to see on this slide. So really scrolling panels are a brilliant solution to the common problem of excessive content on a slide. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content. 
And if you're interested in learning more about corporate instructional design and e-learning development, head over to www.corporateidmastery.com. Thanks for watching.